Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I will be showing you how you can create your very own customized title bar. What a title bar is, it's the bar at the top of the window that allows you to exit or minimize the window and also it has a title to let you know the software or the application that this window represents. Now I split this tutorial into various different parts so that I can explain things as much as possible without creating really long tutorials. So in this part, I hope to um, remove this existing title frame and put the buttons back in. And then in the next part, we'll add in some event buttons and some event actions, which will really help maximize the functionality of this new title bar. And then at the end of this, all these parts and all these tutorials, I hope that you will have this ability to create really customized title bars that really enhances the, the end user's experience when they're using whatever project or application that you're creating or developing. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is import tkinter and I've given it an alias of tkr. So wherever we reference tkr in this code, we're calling the tkinter module. The next thing we need to do is create our master window. And we do that by typing in tkr.tk. And the, this has a capital T. The next thing I've done is specify the geometry of the window by typing in window.geometry. And then I specify the geometry in quotation marks. What I've also done is I've typed in window.main loop at the bottom, which helps us to compile the code and have it to run when this code is ready. So this is what we have at the moment. And what we're doing in this part is getting rid of this title bar and then adding in the buttons and this title here back in. So first thing you need to do is remove the existing title bar. And we do that by using a function called override redirect. And what override redirect does is it removes the title bar. And we use it by typing in window, calling our main window dot override redirect. And you can either use one or zero or true or false. In this case here, I'm going to use one, which will get rid of this title bar. So now we've got rid of our title bar in our main window. So what we're going to do next is recreate that title bar by creating a frame. And in the frame, we're going to put a title and those buttons that we've lost. So the title goes on the left or the center, and those buttons that we lost will go on the right. So first things first is we need to recreate a frame that will be like our title bar. Well, that will be our new title bar. And we'll do that by typing in title underscore bar equals, and then tkr.frame here, frame. And then in the frame, we're going to type in window, that which puts our frame into our main window here, window object that has had our frame, our title bar removed. And we're going to give it a background of medium blue by typing BG equals medium blue. We're going to give it a sunken relief and we're going to get rid of the border by typing in BD equals zero. And the zero is the weighting of zero. The next thing we need to do is we need to pack this title bar into our main window by typing in title underscore bar dot pack and expand equals one and fill equals X will make sure that it fills the top of the um, of the main window all the way throughout the whole width. So the whole width of the top of the window will be filled. The next thing we need to do is put our title back in that we've lost. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a label to put into our title bar frame. And so what we've done, what I've done is created a variable label one, and I've equated that to tkr dot label. And then in the label, we're going to put our, put it into our title bar. So this is this label is going to go into our title bar, and I've given it a text by typing in text equals, and then custom title bar in quotation marks. And I've also given this a color. The text I've given a color of gold by typing in FG equals gold two. 
and the background I've matched with the background of the total bar and I've also given it a font of times by typing in font equals and then times in quotation marks. And what I want to do is I also want to pack that label and this time by typing in label one dot pack and this time I want to put it in the center so I type in anchor equals tkr dot center so anchor equals tkr dot center and so that is now our label created and our frame created the next thing I want to do is I want to create our close button and I do that by creating by typing in creating the variable close underscore button and I've equated that to tkr dot button tkr dot button and then in brackets I put title bar locking the button into the title bar that we've created and I've given it a text equals x giving it that classic you know cross for closing I've given it a background of gray and I've also added a, a function here called highlight background which equals white and what this means is that when I press when I click my button on that uh, when I press my uh, left click without releasing on that button it will turn the background will turn white and so when I click that button I also need to have a command which in this case is to exit the screen exit the window or close the window and how we do that is we type in command equals window dot destroy and this window dot destroy will exit and close down this window and so what we need to do again now is pack it in to our title bar on the right this time so if we type in close underscore button calling our button dot pack in this case we're going to put side equals tkr dot right now pack it into the right and so that is our title bar with a label and a close button completed the next thing we need to do is we need to add our minimize button and so we do that by creating another variable called minimize underscore button and I've again created a button and like the close button I've packed it into the title bar giving it the same background in this case the text is a dash rather than a cross and the highlight background again is white and this time the command equals hide underscore screen so now we're going to have to create a function that hides the screen so what we need to do is go up here go up to above where we've created our title bars and our frames and we're going to create a function that hides the screen and what we're going to make use of is this function in tkinter called iconify and what iconify does is it minimizes the window and puts it into your taskbar here at the bottom of your screen or wherever your taskbar is the only problem with iconify is it only works with the original title bar so what you need to do is you need to call put it back in by typing in window dot over redirect equals zero and then type in window dot iconify and then that that button will make the screen minimize and go into the taskbar. So putting that all together, if we type in def dot def sorry space hide screen and then we have a colon and then if we put window type in window dot over redirect and then in bracket zero it will put the frame back on so then when we type in our next line window dot iconify then this iconify will actually work so now we have finished creating our command hide screen so now what we need to do is again pack it and this time done exactly the same as the close button minimize button dot pack side equals tkr dot write so the next thing i'll do is we're going to create a canvas widget to fill the rest of the main window frame that we've created and we do that by typing in window 2 in this case equals tkr.canvas 
and in this case I've locked it into the big window given it a background of light blue and a highlight thickness of zero. And what I've done is I've again packed it by typing window2.pack and I've typed in expand equals one, fill equals both. And what this means, is it will fill the rest of the window that this title bar does not fill. And I'm gonna leave it there for this part of the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. In the next part, I will be adding in event bindings and extra functions, including a way of reversing the minimizing that we've done. And then this will hopefully increase the functionality of the title bar. Please subscribe and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.